We've been working on coordinate descent for Attaboost, and we've already done kind of the two major calculations. Uh, the first one where we had to figure out what direction to travel in, and that's this direction. And then we had to figure out also how far to travel in that direction, which is the formula here. Now, I want to do a little work simplifying this calculation here so that we'll get closer to sort of what you think of as Attaboost. Um, and so I'm going to do that on a separate page. Okay, so I just want to simplify it by noting that um, if you're doing an argmax, so that means find the maximizer of, um, then it doesn't matter if you multiply all of the terms by the same positive constant, the maximizer is the same. So I'll write here jt is argmax. And then I want to notice that this over here that's actually the unnormalized weight vector. So if I just normalize the weight vector by dividing by the normalization constant, then I get DTI, okay? And again, this normalization factor doesn't affect which one is the maximizer because you're just multiplying all of them by the same positive constant. And uh, that's also a reason that I can get rid of that one over N there and not, not change which one is the maximizer. All right, so I can rewrite this happily as argmax over j d transpose mj. Oops. There we go, j. Okay, now um, this j, of course, being the same as that j there, right? We just want we just want uh, that particular column of m that, to worry about. Okay, so now I can actually write down a coordinate descent algorithm with the notation that I have. It's not going to look quite like Attaboost yet, but it'll get closer to it soon. Okay, so here's my algorithm. I start by initializing the weight vector to be uniform. My coefficient vector, initialize it to zero. Then at each iteration, I figure out which direction to travel in, which is that step we just derived. Then I give you the notation for the um, some of the weights of the misclassified points, which is dt minus. And then how far we travel is alpha t, which we derived earlier. That's this formula there. And now that we know which direction to travel in and how far to travel, we can actually take that step. Okay, so lambda t plus one, that's lambda t plus, and then take a step of size alpha t in the direction of jt. And so again, this notation means a vector of zeros with a one just in that jt spot. Position. There. Okay, so that's essentially saying, okay, just look at the jth component of lambda t and add alpha t to it. Now I gotta update the weight vector because obviously I need the weight vector for everything. <laughs> it tells me where to go and how far to go. So I update it by just defining it, just using its definition. Okay, so it's just like that. And then I just wanna remind you that this ZT here, that's just the normalization factor, which is make sure that everything adds up to one. So this thing is actually the sum over I Let's just fix that. Okay, sum over i of e to the negative m lambda t plus one i. Okay, cool. So this is getting closer to Attaboost, but there's two reasons why it doesn't look exactly like Attaboost. First of all, this first step where we're trying to find the maximizer over weak classifiers. In Attaboost, that's a weak learning algorithm choosing the weak classifiers. So how are these two things the same, right? Is this, is this the weak learning algorithm there? And then also, what does this deal with the weight vector? So in Attaboost, the weight vector gets updated from its previous value by multiplying by either e to the alpha or e to the minus alpha, depending on whether the point was misclassified. So um, it doesn't look quite the same. And I still have a little bit of work to do to kind of resolve that and make it look really just like Attaboost. So I will do that in the next video. Thank you.